No way. Is there a guy behind me? Did he drop in last second? Jeez. That is super annoying. Hey guys, what is going on? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what hanger to use to win in the game. So these hangers aren't for specific, you know, a to get a lot of damage or to only capture beacons it's more just great at everything overall to help your team win so to start off we have our beacon runner i like to use the Oroshi. you can use the loki you can use even use the favner but i like the Oroshi with nitro units the favner i'm using it as a titan killer but you can also use the hawk a the demeanor in my opinion is one of the top robots in the game and it's amazing at tele obviously teleporting and healing. So that one we are using. The Fenrir is kind of our shell killer bot as I've showed you guys in past videos. This is our stealth killing robot. So we have the Typhon here to kill um, stealth robots because we have a quantum radar module. So, okay, we're here on Springfield. And I want to use my Oroshi kind of later in the game because I want to use it almost as you know, a plan B option if we're losing the game and my team has to capture beacons fast. Okay, so we're moving here. And of course, this does have the Bernadette legendary pilot. Uh-oh. Okay, we do have an anti-control module too. So this is the same build I ran, I think a couple videos ago. And real quick, I want to address, I'm on the last video I did with the Fenrir, a lot of people said, do not nerf the robot, blah, 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 blah. I agree. I don't think Pixonic should nerf the actual Fenrir. I think the legendary pilot needs a slight nerf, but only if the Favner and other top robots get a nerf. Okay, hold on. I'll explain more in a second. This Demeter doesn't even see us. And, oh, crap. He's gone. Okay, so I'm so confident in this robot ability to just... We're just going to eat a ton of damage and push forward. So let's just go straight at them. Okay, our anti-control module working. And you need to run an anti-control module on this robot. It's too slow for you not to. Because you'll just be taking the whole day getting locked down and suppressed. Oh, we still got suppressed and locked down. Because everybody's got that suppressing lockdown crap these days. Okay, um, okay, let's push forward here. Oh my god. We literally have an anti-control module. But since the Fenrir is a pretty old bot at this point, I think everyone should have one in their hangar. Unless you really just hate it and don't want to use it. I think it's very useful in just about any player's hangar. Okay, that's one kill. Ooh, can we kill this guy? Can we kill this guy? Boom. Okay, double kill. Oh, perfect. Okay, this guy took off, but we're going to grab this beacon. Oh, we're not going to grab this beacon? Oh, my God. Are we going to get... There we go. Okay, he moved, so we have their home beacon. Our health is dropping pretty fast, but we did capture this beacon. I don't know if we're going to hold it, though, unless my teammate drops in. Yikes. Okay, it looks like we're going to lose the beacon, but on the bright side, if we push forward, we kind of helped our team there. Because we got the beacon, pulled enemies away from the rest of the map. And here's our Demeter. So the Demeter obviously teleports to enemies and has a very useful healing ability. I think it's the best healing ability in the game. More than the Mender, more than the Wayland, and even more than the Nodens. Pure healing, I think it's the best bot in the game for healing. Not to mention it has three mediums, which is a ton of firepower, pretty good speed, and decent durability, and we're taking some damage, and our last stand just got triggered. And, okay, I just kind of jumped out of there, because that shell bot was about to kill us. So they have the middle beacon right now. Let's see if... Hmm, I'm not sure... Sometimes you gotta move around and just see what options are available. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ch -ch -ch. Got locked down. And ideally, if you have enough anti control modules, every robot you run that has three module slots, you should run an anti control module on every single one. 
And I didn't get too much into drones just because drones seem to be kind of, I don't know, they're always changing so much and some players have certain drones, other players don't. But for purely winning, I would... Oh, okay. Actually, let me explain it in a second while we... I'm going to focus here. Okay, we're going to die, so we're going to try to just teleport away. Run! And that's the hidden ability of the Demeter. Teleport away and hide. Let's see if we can get this shell bot before... Sweet. Okay, we just got here, and we can change the beacon. I might leave this Demeter... Just because we've been in it for a couple minutes here. And I want to try to get some more robots in our hangar. Maybe I'll just spam this guy. This guy can sit in meter too. Let's get a little bit of healing in. His last stand is triggered. Come on, just kill me. Alright, finally. I want to get taken out at that point. Okay, they're pushing a home beacon right now. So let's, let's drop in our Favner. So the Favner is tricky because the Favner is really good, but if the enemy has lock on weapons, they can take you out. And I'm pretty sure this Favner is running ooh, these weapons, and he might be able to take us out here. But you can see this Alming is having a super tough time. Boom, and that's one of the reasons why the Favner is so nuts. Oh man, this guy's really dealing some damage to us. Oh. It was probably stupid for me to shoot at that guy while he was, his hawk ability was activated. Okay, let's drop in our Typhon here. They still have our home beacon. Insane lockdown on the sinister pulsar. Yeah, I think the Typhon should also, everyone should probably run a Typhon. There's so many good builds you can use, but this one's obviously kind of my range build. Lockdown range build. Boom. Oh, he must have an anti- an anti-control. Okay, boom. There we go. Okay, that leech is... Ooh, our last stand's not quite triggered. They still have a home beacon here. I'm surprised my teammates aren't dropping in. I guess they're protecting center, which is a good call. Boom, double kill. And we want to try to grab this beacon before my team notices. Oh, okay, this Nodens doesn't see us, but we have to take out this Ares. Okay, let's get close. Okay, we suppressed him. Oh, even with the suppressant, he still killed us. Enough playing around. So I chose to use the, use the Minos as my Titan, but you can, there's so many, I mean, you can't really go wrong with Titans. The only one I wouldn't run is really the Kid. The Kid Titan seems to be the worst by far Titan. If you want to do the most team-friendly Titan, probably the Nodens, because you can heal. But it really doesn't matter too much. Okay, we're going to push forward here. And enemy team might be mecking out right now, so that is good for us. <laughs> we just sent that Inquisitor into another universe. Okay, boom. Last stand triggered. Take him down, take him down. Okay, we're pretty much raiding, spawn raiding them right now. I think that's going to wrap it up, unless they got another robot. And yeah, what I was going to say is about drones. There's so many different options for drones, but usually I stick to basic things. Like, shielding is the most overpowered one right now, so use shielding. But then I like damage increases and extra durability or resistance. 3.7 million, 5 beacons. See, that's a pretty solid round. We weren't purely chasing damage. We were pushing beacons, and this hangar is pretty much built for helping your team win. You're not that doesn't mean you're going to win every game, but I think purely from a winning perspective, you can have variety like we have a healer, we have a beacon rusher, we have kind of a titan killer with the Favner, we have a titan <laughs> and some other stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, boom. That was a quick kill, but they're they got a heavy a heavy amount of enemies in the center. And I do not think we're going to be able to take them out. So we might have to teleport out of here. Okay, teleport, teleport, teleport. Boom. Okay. We got one kill in the middle. There's no point in just wasting the robot. Especially this early in the game. So we got over here. And that is a hell burner. I still don't really get the thing with the hell burner right now. I know some players... 
Okay, I know some players like the Hellburner over the Shellbot, but I don't get it. Like, it's it doesn't seem that effective to me. It's just too it's pretty easy to kill, frankly. It doesn't have that crazy shielding like the Shellbot does. Okay, um beacons are changing, players are moving. Okay, let's teleport over there. Help out my teammate a little bit and see if we can push this beacon. Okay, come on. Who is this? Surprise! Okay, shield is broken. The shield is broken. Okay, we hit our phase shift for a sec. Okay, if we can trigger his last stand. Ooh, okay. He... Oh, man. This is going to be close. I don't know if we can get him. My teammate can kill him. Come on, teammate, teammate, teammate. Okay, we grab the beacon. Perfect. Boom, kill. He probably should have stayed on the beacon there and just dropped in another robot. Because then he lost the beacon and then we ended up killing him anyways. Okay, we're pushing still. Oh, we're going to die. We're probably going to die here. Actually, let's heal up this guy real quick. Let's see if we can help out my teammates. And man, I'm actually surprised. I'm glad they brought back Direct Not Map. This map, I really like it. It has its open spots. It have it, they have it, you know, where the main brawling goes on in the center, in the ship. Pretty sweet map. Okay, we're gonna dish this Demeter. Let's drop in our... Ooh, okay, beacons are changing. Okay, here's our Typhon, so... So this Typhon is almost not exclusive to, but the Hiroshis are to kill them in stealth. Super annoying. So if they have Hiroshis, we can kill them here. Oh, he hit his shielding right before we launched our ability charge. Okay, we're still alive here. Let's get our ability back and see if we can kill this guy. Oh my god, we missed again. This guy's playing with us. Hmm. The one issue is using this build up close, as good as the pulsars are, using them up close isn't the best idea. Okay, double kill, boom. Let's, um... Okay, it's Nodens. Let's even grab Zenner. Uh-oh. See the... Oh, man. Crap balls. Stupid Minos. Oh, okay. Lockdown, lockdown. Can anyone help me? We're not going to be able to get this. We're going to die. Crap. Balls. Okay, so they're dropping in their Titans. Maybe we can drop in... I feel like our... Yeah, probably our Fabner now. Ooh, they were in our home there? Okay. So the Fabner is such a crazy good robot simply because it has great firepower, can kill Titans, and can get beacons. It really isn't weak at anything, and it has really good speed. So it doesn't really have any huge weaknesses. I mean, I guess the weaknesses our lock on weapons are best against it but that's about it okay let's see if we can just drop in here and get this center beacon oh man jeez major fire where are my teammates bro there he is or should we fly let's just run Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we can definitely take down Titans, but if they have lock on weapons, then it's more difficult. Like this guy. Of course, okay, that Nodens does have it, so he's just going to be able to lock onto us after our shield expires. See, our built-in weapon is firing. Oh, man, they're getting... 
They're grabbing four beacons right now. Yikes. So this is kind of where this hangar that I'm running becomes especially important. Because we we kinda we do have a lot of speed left in our hangar. Being the Oroshi. No way. Is there a guy behind me? Did he drop in last second? Jeez. That is super annoying. Okay, so now we have to give up on that. And now let's shoot this guy. Stupid Oroshi. Stupid, stupid Oroshi. Okay, maybe we can just take out this Hawk. Phase shift. Toast him, toast him, toast him. Boom. See you later. Doozer. So we're pretty much beacon flying around. Beacon running, beacon hopping, beacon flying. Okay, let's grab this beacon, man. 255 left. Um, I was going to say they're mecking out, but I don't think they're mecking out. Okay, grabbing that beacon. We got to push. We might be mecking out now. This might be an issue. Uh-oh. They got lock on weapons. Okay, we took that Oroshi, so that's going to stop that guy and slow their team from getting beacons a little bit. Because Oroshis are the worst to face near the end of a game. Especially on a bigger map like this. Okay, we have to push beacons right now. I'm, I'm got my Oroshi out. The Megalodon Oroshi. In my opinion, the best beacon running robot in the game. Before we get a beacon, though, we gotta kill this blitz. Okay, now we're gonna push this beacon. Hopefully, that guy doesn't have another robot. Oh my god. Okay, see, that's a problem. That is a problem. We have three. We have three nitro units on this thing, but this is just not good. Oh, we might lose this. We might lose this. Uh... See, even with a hangar built for your team winning, sometimes there's not much you can do. Okay, let's push this beacon. I'm turning away right now just because I don't want to hit them with my projectile weapon and get their attention. Okay, we killed that Ares pretty quick. There's 57 seconds left. We need like five beacons though, or we have to mech them out. And I don't think we're gonna mech them out. I don't trust my teammate taking this guy out. Okay, we're gonna dish this. We just gotta protect our beacon. Come on, man. Oh, man. We're not gonna... This is too tough. This is too tough. I think we're not gonna... We need five beacons. Our beacon bar is done. Ah, oh, that was two on two. All right, guys. So, I know the video this... The title of this video is gonna be, like, how to win. Or how to build a hangar to win. And sometimes, you saw, we got nine beacons. 4.2 million damage. My teammate got five million damage. And it still wasn't enough. You can try and make the hangar to win. Which is probably going to give you the best chance to win. But you're not always going to be able to pull through. Thanks for watching the video guys. Until next time. Peace. See you guys next video.